Taking lessons from a legend, when it comes to rugby, David Campese is a master in his own class. He was capped 101 times for Australia with his most notable performance being the 1991 World Cup final when the Wallabies beat England to the title. This week he has been passing on advice to Kenya's rugby sevens players and what it takes to be a champion. The harder you work, the easier it is. Um, and the thing is, and I said, it's also important what you do off the ball. It's good to have the ball, but when you haven't got it, you've got to work harder. That's the things you learn. I think he's more direct in his, in his, um, in his approach and his uh, communication. So, so I think uh, for me that is a very, very big uh, learning lesson uh, from him in terms of what you want to, to do at any specific point. Uh, we've learned a lot from him, just uh, some basic ways of changing our attack and defence. Uh, it's, it's been really informative uh, learning from a legend like him. And we're just uh, ready to try out what we've learned today um, or in, the, in the future tournaments that we're going to attend. Kenya's national sevens team finished seventh last season in the World Series after winning one leg. At the Rio Olympics, the team couldn't rise to their leg-winning form. Their game plagued by inconsistency, which has characterized the country's sevens performances in the past. So to win a tournament is great, but you've got to learn by the experience and say, right, that happens. What happened last week's not going to help you next week. So that was great, but then you've got to turn up. And that's the hardest thing to do, especially when you only got seven days in between, but it makes it very, very difficult. Before sharing his over a decade worth of rugby experience with the men's team, the 54-year-old also had a session with the women's team. It was good to see the girls trying to get involved. Um, I know it's not easy, especially when it's not a natural sport, but um, they, they did pretty well. Uh, the skills are getting better. The men's team will head into the new season next month with a new look technical bench. Former Kenya Sevens captain Innocent Simiu has started his coaching tenure. Kenya will face France, Japan and Australia in Group D at the Dubai Sevens. The 2015-2016 World Series season was one of the major breakthroughs for Team Kenya winning their first ever leg in the circuit. And now the team hopes that some of the pointers given to them by one of Australia's great players will help towards adding to that title. Celestine Carone, CCTV in Nairobi.